Hey hey hello welcome to my channel Triple Chew Charu this is Galtu Bam back with another pick a card reading for all of you and this is going to be a most interesting and most watched reading on my channel who will you marry who will be your future spouse um, aka as known as your future spouse um, somebody that you're going to be living forever with your life partner anybody that you have you know have a, had a concept uh, of somebody that you're going to live forever with man woman who he she they whoever you are interested in who will be that person how you will meet this person how will be your journey before or after meeting them and how your union will happen obviously about the marriage life partnership um and how this journey is going to begin or if you're already on this journey and if you believe this is the one that you're going to get married or you're going to stay with forever then it's going to be a confirmation for you that if you're going to end up together and how you're going to meet and all that stuff so some of you maybe already you know met this person but we never know we are going to end up with this person or not um and others of you you maybe don't know this person yet because you could be completely single or you never dated anybody you never been in a relationship with anybody so this reading is for everybody who want to know who will be their future spouse he she uh they uh, who will be your life partner who you're going to end up with and all that stuff it's going to be a general reading as i always say on my channel so please take what resonates and leave the rest if something is not resonating don't try to force it it's a general reading not your personal and don't take it personal uh you can also book a personal reading if you want to if you want to get more specific detail about somebody that you have in your mind or you want to know more extended reading about this person that you want to know you can book a personal reading everything is given in description you can reach out to me on my email address follow me on instagram link is given in description please do not get scammed i'm never going to i never going to reach out to you anywhere on social media okay so you have a four um crystal and animal spirit uh group here choose intuitively whatever the group is calling you um you can choose more than one pile so today um before you start the reading i'm i'm going to tell you that i just shuffle the cards uh, by asking the question that from the spirit that who will be this person in your eyes or in front of the world so this is how this person is going to be but the interesting thing is that i also want to know that how will be they in real life like how they act versus how they truly are you know in their in their personal life that you're going to see or when you are going to get to know or get married then that's how you're going to know it's going to be double confirmation it's a twist in the reading uh, we are also going to use the charms because you guys love it so why not so stay tuned for the what the whole reading for the charms because there is a lot stuff here for charms okay so let's start the reading i'm going to meet you on your reading do not forget to like share subscribe hit the notification bell and give me your feedback i will really appreciate it so let's go we will see i will meet you on your reading Hello group number 1 welcome if you choose this beautiful blue crystal group and with this elephant i forgot about the name of it it's not definitely not lapis lazuli it's something else okay we have the elephant so this person is in front of the world or in, in front of you your first impression is going to be obviously this is somebody who is going to be like big either they could be buff or they have a maybe very tall maybe taller than you they could even come off like very like they have a body building like some type of a muscles a uh, man or woman they could be tall or they could have a muscles obviously um this is also somebody who could be a fire sign it is your sag but you will see that this person has a lot of passion and and drive um but they're going to take it they they are very slow on their journey okay so they have come along like it's it's been a long journey for them wherever you will see them so this person could be coming out of some type of a difficult phase in their life but they never give up on their passion or their desire you will see that this person definitely is persistent and consistent um they could be even very disciplined too um okay that's how you will know um but this is the real them that we will see i think it's a twist um in the story so let's see uh who is your future spouse the more mercury communication and we have the 12th house so this person could have a 12th house mercury or your mercury could be in the 12th house uh so that's what no, sorry i forgot about the question this is how you will meet this person or your interaction or your journey will begin okay mercury is all about communication we know that so it's mean that this is somebody that you're going to meet when you're communicating you're doing your work you're networking okay um you could be even curious about a lot of things you could be even investing in something uh it could be even something about your perception that you're going to share the same vision with this person same per same uh perception narrative you could be this person could be your muse or you will be this person muse for some reason i'm picking up there is a lot of thoughts ideas uh communication uh, verbal expression also talking with this person i think you both could have the same vision 
that could be also a possibility here. Um, I also believe this person is going to be spiritual, okay? They could be the part of some type of a spiritual um, team, organization, or company, or they could be the part of the company that really working for some type of a, I'm picking up animals, I just, I, I just got it. Like, could be something to do with the animals, protection of animals. Um, could be a doctor. Some of you are picking up this person could be a doctor like maternity doctor or something, but could be not. Um, this is also somebody who could be working in foreign, like wherever they live, they're not from that, they're not living there. They could be in a different country or continent, different place. So this is somebody who born into a different place, but for education, for study, for their work, they could be in a different country or place. Definitely a different country, I think. I also believe this person's ancestors um, could be, you know, like migrated or something into a different country. But this person definitely is very connected with their root. They were, they were also connected with their culture, their tradition. It's not like that. They just forgot about it. No. They could be even studied abroad or they're working abroad. Uh, or they just migrated abroad. Maybe their ancestors, their parents or something. You also can meet this person when you are studying abroad, when you're working abroad in a different country. And you, you're going to meet this person there. I'm also picking up something to do with the social media because we have a Mercury. It's a communication and 12th house. It could be this is somebody that you're meeting online, internet, these days on social media. Or you may both have some type of a cause or reason that you're working. Uh, you could be even um, going to meet this person when you are going into different country for, I don't know, for work, for job, for, for your own personal growth. You could be even shifting into different country also. That is a possibility that you can meet this person there. But 12th house is definitely for me, it's like a foreign land. So this person could be a foreigner to you. Like they t totally speak different language with the Mercury here. The, this person's language is totally different. When you, uh, this could be even possible when you will move into this person's country. Let's say you're just going there for study um, or for a job or even just moving there, shifting there. This person, wherever they are living, they definitely have their own language. So this is like you need to learn the language of this person. This person's, uh, you know, like, mother language is also different. I can pick it up. So that could be, this person is totally from a different culture and maybe from you. But you can also meet this person in a foreign land, okay? Uh, for maybe learning, education, uh, could be some type of a cause and reason that you both are working, networking. Could be some type of a, um, you know, awareness, spreading awareness for some type of a cause and reason. I told you, like, some type, some type of awareness, protest. Okay, or it could be even uh, some type of a campaign. I told you like something with the animals or something to do with, um, yeah, something. It could be coaching, learning, ideas. So that could be the energy here. You could be the part of this person team. And they could be a leader. They could be a big, like they could be senior or leader and you are the like student there. You're just there to for study, work and learn from them. But you will be definitely, it's like sh share the same vision. That you definitely going to see this person, your future spouse is going to, doesn't matter who is younger and who's older, um, but I think this person is more mature, wiser, experienced by their age. Um, they because they're coming from a lot of uh, fire. I can see that, but they always survive. This is like a survival person. Like they definitely survived from something, and definitely it's like this person has a history about it. Are this person ancestors? Like there's something about this person ancestors too. Like they survived, so they could be refugees for some of you, or they could be migrated something. So they could be survived from that place. Something with the fire I'm picking up. Fire and flood. Water, like water I'm picking up. So who this person really is, that's how you're going to know that. So we have the lamb. Ooh, interesting. I told you, they're very sensitive. They come off like very big, very maybe. Yeah, this person is going to be very cute. There's something about number 12 could be important. Uh, I'm hearing 12 o'clock. You're going to meet this person there. Could be even, 12th house is also talk about surrender. It's about karma. So you are meant to meet this person. This could be even somebody that coming into your life to teach you some type of a lesson that you need to learn. Um, obviously, uh, you will, oh my God, it's my karmic connection. No, it's not karmic. There is a reason that you're meeting this person. You have to learn some lesson. You have to be on this journey. You have to get married with this person. There is a reason here. Um, this could be somebody from your past life, if you believe in that. You will also see this person in your dreams coming before they will come or enter in your life. Or when you will meet this person, you will keep seeing this person's name, synchronicities everywhere. Because you, your angels are definitely going to guide you and communicate with you that this is your person. So this is somebody who's very sweet. They're very gentle. They're very cute. This is also somebody that you're going to love them. You're going to adore them. Like, I think you will, you will love them to the death. 
um, they could be very young and child by the heart because I think this person is definitely come off like very big. Either this is something it's like because of their experience or the position or the power they hold or they have could be responsibilities because that's an elephant. It's like it's giving me the vibe of like mama element, the uh, elephant that she could be, you know, protecting her tribe. You know, the elephants always work in, you know, going to the tribe, you know, in the groups tribe. So that could be the, per per this person could be uh, protecting their pr pride, you know. Uh, tribe, kids, family, all that stuff. But in reality, this person is very cute. They're very sensitive. They could be even very, very emotional person. I can see that. This person is going to be very sensitive. But luckily, you will see this person this side uh, because they hide it with the 12th house because we know that this is something hidden. This is something private. This is something uh, you are also going to, some of you are picking up with this Mercury in 12th house, you're going to talk to this person a lot on social media, on internet, uh, but it's going to be in a private meeting, private talk, could be in DMs, you know, like it's a private, it's between you and this person also. Or maybe this person, close friends or family will know or you will know that. That could be the energy, but this is somebody who's definitely going to be very cute. They could be even look very younger by their age. Now let's see anything else more about this relationship and all. The Divine Masculine, yeah, they could be Leo, Aquarius, uh, they could even have a fixed um, you know, sign in their chart, but I strongly feel, yeah, that could be Leo Aquarius axis. I'm also picking up fire and earth in this person chart, could be Pisces. We also have a Gemini and Virgo. So that could be the significant signs. You can also meet this person in the month of December. Okay, that could be the big sign or could be the month of January or February. That's also here. We have Divine Masculine. Yeah, this is somebody who's definitely going to look up like very, very masculine. They have this masculine energy, but they're very sensitive. They're very emotional. They could be very feminine inside, but they keep it to themselves only. This person has a great vision. They could be very intuitive and psychic, so they will know that you are the one. Now, some of you, this person will know that you're coming into their life. And when you will be in front of this person, they will be like, oh, she or he is the one. I'm talking about to my viewer. We have a emotional freedom. Yeah, this person, uh, there's a lot of animals you can see that. So this person could be an animal lover. They are an animal lover. I think they could be also very connected with the animals. So this person could be an empath. I'm also picking up star seed. Or they could be even just earth angel because they're really, really, I think they cannot see. Obviously, when the sensitive person or someone who's very emotional or someone who's very like child, like energy, very pure energy, they can't see animals hurt. So this is that person. I think they really, really protect animals at any cost. We have an owl, we have the rabbit, we have the, this, this is like unicorn, lion, and then we have this falcon, eagle, hawk, whatever this is. And we have the bees, honeybees. Yeah, I think there's a lot of animals. So, or this person maybe, I don't know, like document or documentary about animals. Maybe they made it. Um, or they work in some type of a discovery channels, okay, like about animals. You know, like geographical channel or something, or they work for that, or they love animals. They could post stuff about, uh, you know, animals, or they could even have a lot of pets for some of you. Let's see for more. We have a yin and yang, so yeah, masculine and feminine. Uh, we also have soulmate. This is somebody from your past life. And you have been with this person in a past life, so I don't think so. Okay, another thing I'm picking up with this elephant in here. No matter how many people you will meet, how many karmic you will meet, you are definitely going to end up with this person. It's like universe is also always going to protect you in this connection. It's protected. It's not going anywhere with this emotional freedom here. So e even though if in this journey you're going to meet a lot of people, or you're going to fall for a lot of people, you're going to always emotionally free yourself from that relationship from that people because it's not going to work. It's only going to work with this person. So I'm talking, it's, it's a big thing. It's a big thing. It's a big word I'm saying. It's definitely somebody that you're going to, it's like you, you're not going to force anything. You should not do anything. This is going to work naturally, easily, and organically. That's how you will know. This is a somebody who's always going to protect you, always going to stand for you. You could see the fire and water. So yeah, you guys could be fire and water, could be twin flame or soulmate. But I would definitely recommend you. It's definitely yin and yang soulmate. You're definitely opposite from each other also. You could have a different language uh, or it could be different countries or background, tradition, roots, even a different religion that's going to play the big role. But I don't think so. It's, it's going to affect this person. They know they're coming. They know you will be there. So one is, a, one is a fire, one is a water. So fire and earth. 
So if this is uh, because I'm picking up this person is very fiery or they come off like very fiery, but naturally this is someone who's going to be watery or earthy with you. So that's for who they are. Now let's see. We have sexual freedom. Here you go, lotus and the birds. Yeah, it's a soulmate or twin flame connection here. I'm also picking up something with the infinity symbol number eight. The month of August could be important here. Wow, this is like okay. Another thing I'm picking up here when you will have this actual meeting with this person or first time you going you guys are going to have it. It's gonna be magic. It's just not between two people who are just sleeping for you know. This is something more. It's more than sex, you know, or, or more than this physical union or intimacy or need, like lusty, we need it. No, desire. No, no, no. It's, it's something more. Passion, desire to be together, to love each other. Look at the butterflies, transformation, the lotus. I also believe that when you will come together, I don't know, it's going to be your kundalini, kundalini is going to awaken. It's going to be very magical. It is going to be very magical. I also believe that your future kid that's coming into your life is also going to be the part of something. This person is, is, is someone from your same soul tribe with the 12th house. I can see that. They are from your same soul tribe. So I, I don't know, twin flame, soulmate, whatever you, want, whatever you believe. You can see this too. I cannot make this up. There's a birds. It's like two. They're mirroring each other. It's like, you know. And you can see that how this is union happening. It's like just getting closer, but there's a lotus. It's like just infinity, number eight. It's karma, it's destiny, fire and water. It's just not like two people are coming together. It's something more. You're making love. It's not just, <laughs> how can I say that? It's just not like two, two bodies are just emerging or something. It's like you're making love. You're literally making love with each other. That type of energy I'm picking up here. So it's a very, it's, there's a lot of romance here. There's a lot of romance, passion, and desire in this connection. And whenever you're going to have this, I, I believe a lot of you, you're going to have this after marriage. But if you're going to have it before marriage, I don't think so. It's going to be possible. Mostly I'm picking up 100%, not 100%, but I'm sure 80% of you, it's going to happen after marriage. Because this connection is very sacred, very beautiful. You're not going to destroy it. It's going to happen naturally and 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 organically with this emotional freedom here i also believe that maybe you're going to help this person to release some type of emotional baggage um, with the 12th house also so there's a lot of karma that you both need to release you need to let it go from the past energies past from this lifetime or past maybe from past lifetime i don't know but this is there's a lot of karma releasing healing so when you will come together you're going to heal each other when your bodies will emerge so i think this sexual meeting or physically when you're coming together you're just not making love you're also releasing all the energy because you both are gonna make each other so happy look at this oh my god it's a lot of colors a lot of colors so I think this person will add a lot of colors in your life and you will also the same. You're going to do that with this person. This person will look very innocent. The way their eyes, their face, uh, they could even have a very small face. They look very big or, or maybe, I don't know, either they could be look physically very big or they are a big person. So maybe they could be very well-known person or they could be someone who's like senior, a boss, a leader, or somebody who's like um, with this divine masculine, like people see them, look after them, respect them. They could be working with some type of, a, they could even have a big network that connecting with different type of a countries or world. Could be on social media. I don't know. Let's see um, who is this person. Let's move to something more. So you can know that. So you already know who this person is, right? So I'm, I'm going to channel now something more. That's how you will meet this person. Anything else that you need to know about this person or your relationship? How this journey will begin? Let's start. How this journey will, will begin. Eight of Pentacles, yeah, through work, through work, through learning, through number eight again. It's a destiny and fate. Could be month of August is very important. I'm seeing work, doing inner work, doing outer work, whatever you're doing. You could be even really focused on your work when you will meet this person. You're doing also inner work and this is a result of your inner work because you're going to attract somebody who's definitely going to respect you for who you are and love you and embrace you who you are. Judgment. Yeah, Sagittarius or Scorpio season could be also important. And we have a three of wands. I told you, some of you, you're going to feel this urge 
to move into this country, to go into this person country, a place, maybe for study, for education, for collaboration, for work. Or this person definitely going to feel this urge to talk to you, to communicate with you, to work with you. And you have to go there. You have to go there. Because this is, that's how you're meant to meet each other. I strongly believe, I told you, three of wands, this is somebody who live in a far. So either this could be, look at the fire. So this is somebody, either you already have eyes on this person, okay? Um, or maybe you just know this person through work. Maybe this is somebody that, okay, some of you, you will know this person through work. Like you know that this person do something. Um, or you could know them from their profession, from their work life, from their business. They could be even skillful in something, okay? So you know that, okay? So maybe, but not in a romantic sense. I don't think so. So with the judgment here, I think this person definitely going to reach out to you through work. They're going to feel this urge to talk to you, to communicate with you, to work with you. This could be somebody who's from same community as you, working maybe on social media. You are also doing the same work, but could be they also could be doing something different. But it's like something related with the work. It's a collaboration. It's something about linked up. This person going to feel the urge to do something with you. And they're going to reach out. This could be somebody you will meet them through their work or profession because maybe you need help. And you will go there because with the judgment, it's like you feel the urge to go there and to find this person or help. And they're going to help you or they're going to give you some type of a way or tip. I don't know. I could be in a collaboration. Now, some of you, this is uh, maybe you feel the urge to go into this person's country or place for work, for job, whatever it is. But it's look like your soul is calling you to go there. Something your soul is calling you to do it. And that's you're going to be with this person obviously so listen to your soul your soul is guiding you listen to your soul and do it maybe this is you you will feel the urge to talk to this person to communicate with them to do some type of a collaboration to ask them for something you know or they will feel it vice versa i don't know but that's how it, it's going to start but let's see um when you will meet this person or when I, or you will get married or when at least I saw double two, double two on the clock. It's a wants could be, uh, this is happening maybe very soon because I'm seeing three plus four could be within four weeks or months. It's a wants, it's, it's like it's happening very fast. It's a very fast. Could be any fire season too I'm picking up. So it could be in Aries season, Leo season. So that's coming. Aries season is already passed. So it could be Aries next Leo season that you're watching this video if right now. So it could be August month. Yeah, it could be Leo season. Oh, wow. It's happening very soon. Some of you is happening very soon in the next three months. Like Leo season. Yeah, there's something about summer. Yeah, summer. Leo season. This Leo season. You're going to meet them or you're going to see them. You're going to talk to them. You're going to interact with them. Or you're going to fall for this person. If you're going with the three of wands and sun, thinking about to go somewhere for a vacation, for a travel, please go there because that's how you're going to meet this person. Or maybe you're th thinking and feeling about to do. Your soul is calling you to go there. Do something. Apply for something. Start your job there. Start your work there. Free your soul with a sun card. It's going to give you a lot of happiness. I can see that already. It's a new beginning. It's a spark. It's a passion. It's happening in the summer. A lot of you. Okay. So anything else about this relationship? Then we will move towards uh, charms. Uh, getting to know each other. Wow. This is going to start. So there could be somebody who's going to help you to bring you guys together. Could be. Somebody is going to play some type of a role here. Somebody's help or... Maybe you are with somebody, that's how you're going to meet this person. Reconciliation. Yeah, with the judgment too. It's talk about maybe connecting with, with somebody that your soul is calling. Reconciliation. I think this is somebody from your past life. So obviously it's like in this lifetime you're going to meet this person and you're going to feel this, this sun. Look at the vibrant color, yellow. Yellow is very popping up and vibrant color, colorful color. So it could be solar plexus chakra. This person is going to find the courage and strength to come forward. Or maybe this is you when you are feeling so much positive and uh, confident. Or maybe they. I don't know. Yeah, we have a deception. And then we have calling your... Yeah, so a lot of you are calling this person in. Yeah, so with this deception here, maybe in the beginning, either you will be 
not sure about it, you will doubt it because obviously it's a long distance or something different that you never experience. Or maybe they will do that. But eventually the clarity, the truth is coming out. Everything is going to get clear. I'm feeling um, the light after the storm. It's going to get clear everything for both of you. Okay. So in the beginning, could be there's a possibility when you will meet this person or get to know this person, this person is going to hide their feelings. I'm not saying that they're going to be deceptive with you. No, the 12th house, they're going to keep it to themselves. And then they will speak up. And then, then they, will, they will find this courage and strength to speak up and express it or confess it. Maybe you will meet this person through work or maybe in the beginning, you are definitely, it's like this person is going to feel awkward or they don't have this courage and strength to speak up. And others of you, this is a brand new person that is, it could be love at first sight or attraction at first sight. Look at the desired fire here. A lot of fire. Like this person cannot control themselves. They're not going to hold, honey. They're going to do it instantly. Within a one week or month, they're going to definitely like meeting this person. And within a one week or month, they're going to reach out to you. Or maybe whenever you're watching this video, this summer season is very important. Or maybe whenever you will meet this person, summer season or the month of August is very important. The date like meeting, uniting, it could be even physical meeting. It's also talk about marriage, maybe. Yeah, look at this. Oh my God. Let's see. So we got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, fire, a lot of fire. Here is Leo Sag. So Leo energy is out definitely here. Sagittarius also. So you could be a fire sign or this person, I don't know. But there's a lot of fire and evil eye. I tell you, yeah, there's a lot of eyes. Evil eye here. So I think this person definitely gonna be very cautious and be careful. You could be also the person that's going to be very cautious and with, care, with careful. You should be careful because there is a lot of evil eye. Work, work, work. This person could be workaholic. Yeah, they're gonna say hi. Maybe you're gonna meet them through work. Bitch, so pray. I think a lot of people are definitely gonna not gonna digest that. A lot of bitch is gonna hate it. If this person is popular, are they going to be very attractive? They could be even handsome. They could be even somebody who's like a perfect uh, husband or wife material. You know, so that could be the people. Uh, you definitely know that who you should hide your relationship with. Yeah, it's going to be a proposal. It's coming. It's like committed forever. I'm picking up. You're definitely going to exchange the rings. We have, even though when you're dating, I think it's going to happen. We have DF, Divine Feminine. Florida, I don't know. That's came up into my mind. T. O. So twin flame could be doctor. I'm picking up. Z. So this person could be from Gen Z generation. I don't know. R. Tour. S. Yeah, look at this. Something, some type of good news coming in this. You're going to smile a lot. Or this person going to smile a lot. You got this, receiving some type of a message, call, hi, it's, maybe it's going to be the beginning of the relationship, yeah, a lot of abundance, mask, yeah, this person going to wear the mask, they're going to hide it in the beginning, could be a Gemini placement also, we have also forever love, yeah, it's, it's definitely, uh, it's, uh, it's definitely giving me the true love vibe, somebody that you just connected on a soul level, it's not going anywhere, yeah, we have the car, so they may be going to travel. Are you going to go on a travel with this person? Crown. Very intuitive and psychic connection. This person also going to get very intuitive and psychic. You, get, you will also get a lot of dreams. Yeah, B. Fly, sorry, it's a white fly. Cycle, maybe cycling, I don't know. So it could be in a cycles. This person need to let something go and release some toxic cycles and patterns. Could be a Canada. They could be even coming out of some type of cycle that's toxic. They're going to admire you, your beauty. They're going to give you flowers. Something about the mask here. Could be Holland party or something. Yeah, you don't own me. This is somebody who's not going to care about anybody. But a lot of bitches will uh, hate it or jealous or envious of you. Maybe this person has a lot of access. Remember I told you like they could be coming out of a people and they're finally releasing some emotional baggage because it's not going to work with anybody or maybe with you. Your access or people from your past is definitely going to hurt. Yeah. So it could be unrequited love in the beginning or this person could be coming out of some type of unrequited love. Yeah, the love. They're going to pour this love into themselves and into you. A. Eh? Yeah, a lot of positivity, a lot of yellow. 
This person is definitely going to treat you like a king or queen. Okay? They could be even a Leo by themselves. So they are their leader, definitely. They're going to lead. They're going to take the lead. So that's your reading. Going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number two. Welcome. If you choose this crystal, this yellow jade or calsat, I don't know, but yellow crystal, and you choose the peacock. So this is how this person is going to be in front of you, in front of the world. That's how people are going to perceive this person as they act like this. Peacock. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is somebody uh, who could have a brown eyes, okay? That's, um, this person could be also, it's very proudful person. They could be even have some type of a ego, but uh, we will see that if it's a healthy ego or not, but they definitely have some type of a pride and ego. Um, interesting, we also have a yellow. So the yellow is popping up here, the color to me. Um, this is also somebody who could be very, very attractive and charming. Um, they stand out in the crowd, okay, and they know it. And that could be the reason of their ego and pride because they are good looking. I also believe this person could be into fashion or something. Or they wear very well dressed, like they're really dressed very well, girl or guy, whoever they are. They really stand out. They don't mind get attention, I think. This is who they truly are in real life. Okay, we will see that. Who is this person? So we have a stingray. Oh, it's giving me the vibe of like chakras okay this person could be very very impulsive okay and they maybe regret a lot of things they have a regret of a lot of things in the past that they took some type of a dis impulsive decisions in their life and they come off like it's like it's really backfired on them so they need to be more wiser experienced cool calm and slow down this person definitely have a dark side in their, you know, like, this is the persona in front of the world, who they are, but they definitely have a dark side. Shadow side, I would say, that they need to heal and work on. I don't know if they're working on it or not, but they definitely have. We all have our light and shadow side. It's giving me the vibe of light and shadow. So this person, this person has both, okay? You have to accept this person with both. So they have this all energy. So let's see how and when you're going to meet this person, how will be your meeting, how will be your interaction, all that stuff. We have a Pluto and then we have the Aquarius. Interesting. Out of the box. Oh my God. Two planets, one planet and one sign. It's both unconventional. Okay, I'm picking up taboo thing. I don't know what this is, but it could be. Because we have a Pluto. This is like extreme clearing taboos. So it could be. And we also have the vulture. So past energies. And we have this string rate. So also another dark shadow side. So maybe when you will meet this person or you're meeting for both of you or one of you is definitely going to, especially your spouse, they're going through transformation. They will. They, they have to face their shadow side. And you will mirror them. You will maybe crush this person's ego. That could be a sign. I'm also picking up this Pluto and Aquarius. This person could have unconventional beauty with this peacock hair. Unconventional beauty. This is somebody who really stand out in their, um, in their community, in the crowd, in the work. So for whatever the work they do, I think it's very unconventional. They could be even an innovator. That's not all about, you know, a taboo thing with Aquarius because this person definitely think about future. They are very open-minded. Uh, they think about out of the box. That's a good sign. They also could be into extremes level of thinking. They want to do things in their own way and it's not possible. They even cause a lot of destruction for themselves. I can see that before meeting you or before, you know, even their own life. They got destruction. They maybe even went through an extreme type of a, you know, could be when I'm picking up some of you, this person could be coming out of a depression. Yeah, they, they could be even, this could be the phase, like they went through it. Or when you will meet them, they could be in this process of it. Like they need to go through transformation. They need to, they need to heal. Uh, this is also somebody who's definitely experiment a lot of things. They even do things out of their It's like there's something about this person is like they do things differently. They do things uniquely um, They speak maybe things that can cause controversy uh, or do things that can cause controversy this person also have unconventional beauty like beauty or um, their own wisdom experience, but I think they have this shadow side they do they're, they're impulsive they do things 
they did things in the past i think that's really caused them this destruction so being with you or when you will meet them they're going to be very cautious this person definitely have other side that you don't know about it or when you're going to meet them obviously it's going to be you will know it um Pluto is definitely the planet of on a soul level transformation so they need to maybe come out of this zone and do things for themselves they could be even codependent on other things on other people but their mission is to call to get out of that and stand up for themselves this person um, to be honest i'm not going to lie they could be even come off like very like clingy uh, codependent okay um they could even have a shadow side like they could be come off like very show off but they they don't need to do it you know um or pretend things that are cool they're fine but they're not it's like this person is going through a lot of stuff they need to stand up for themselves this person need to sh they need to do their shit done together they need to do it and you could be the aquarius i think this is coming from you and why i'm picking up you guys could be aquarius sagittarius or scorpio or you guys could have a uranus somehow conjunction with this person pluto it's going to cause a lot of this person's shake up love will be shake up after meeting you or this relationship is going to cause a lot of destruction but i would say this this destruction is really needed um because it's going to transform this person's life their ego they need to definitely it's like this person's ego should be crushed um uh, by somebody so they can especially you because i think you have a definitely going to be with this person um and this is going to be a taboo type of a connection maybe you both are coming from different culture religion background you both are different then you both go maybe live different this could be even something i'm picking up could be same gender relationship or something to do with the rainbow drive because it's going to cause a lot of people shock and surprised but it's not shocking and surprising for both of you i think this person will afraid in the beginning but they need to This person is very free spirited. They're going to be very real, genuine, unique, liberal, rational, you know, idealist. I no, disruptive, edgy. So either you are this and they could be like follow the rules and all that stuff. So one of you like that to be honest. But this is not going to be easy because the evolution should be here. So this is talking about your meeting. This is how you're going to meeting impact on this person, affect this person life. I maybe you I'm picking up north node somehow so you both are destined to do this pluto transformation renewal but mostly it's about this person need to listen to their soul their heart they need to do the things they don't they should not be like pretend like people and and this could be even somebody with the peacock could be a people pleaser like they need to definitely do things like as people want it but in reality this person deep down is hurting they don't want to do it but they're doing it because all people are doing it you know in their culture in their tradition in their community in their family even they need to do it right so they don't have especially to be honest i don't want to call this person coward or somebody like who's not have the gut and strength no they will because they will change and transform but it's going to happen with your meeting okay i'm also picking up either it's a physical meeting i don't know when you will meet each other this person is going to find you like totally different unique out of the box and they're going to be destructive and you may be going to say or do something to this person this person is going to be like triggered you even going to call this person show going to show this person mirror you literally going to find that this person has some issues in themselves you're going to maybe see you're going to see it and this person will be afraid of you like they're going to be like how she knows that how he or she knows that but it could be the cause of internal destruction like this person need to go through transformation it's really important and needed they need they need to stand up they need to get out of it I'm hearing they need to be the first one. They need to do it. This is their call. This is their call in this lifetime. Let's see now. The gardener, yeah. So they could be a masculine. The gardener, yeah. I'm also picking up. This could be. You can see that this is like a trees. So this person need to get out of this energy and they need to calm this storm. This need to happen. This is like a cycle and death. They need to end this. they maybe need to end their generational trauma or generational pattern they need to maybe end something that they will they will be the maybe first one to get out of you know marriage before in, in, out of their culture religion tradition i don't know there's something that they, they will do it i think they should be the first one the gardener yeah masculine energy i think they they definitely going to be the gardener they're going to take care of you they're going to take care of the relationship they're going to turn into this masculine energy that they need to be 
they need to be a provider abundance yeah and we also have chivalry this person definitely going to be very very chivalrous with you uh, they're going to be also bringing a lot of abundance i think you also going to make abundance together look at this angels here so this is going to be definitely divinely connection i can see that but it's going to be not easy because with a chivalry this person also going to be very very chivalrous yeah so that could be the cause of this person they are very like people pleaser or type of a person they need to stop doing this shit maybe you will definitely say this th th thing to this person that's going to be like oh, he, this person will be like what what she's saying she's saying to me that i will leave my family or friends or people like me or something or should i be with her or something but you will also tell this person something that they they are afraid to face and it's going to happen this person is going to be very romantic very very romantic they're going to be very romantic so some of you i think you will date this person but it could be your meeting with this person or or when you're dating it's going to be definitely affect a lot of people i don't know not affect like it's going to be shocking and surprising it's unconventional it's not it's like it's not ordinary it's not usual it's something different it's unusual so i don't know what is that unusual but it could be maybe this person with a peacock it could be someone who is like very prideful they could be coming from abundant family successful wealthy name fame um or they maybe made themselves by themselves like they, their reputation is really really important for the peacock so they always think about this person definitely think about surface level things could be luxurious lifestyle show off making things you know like and and you will be the one maybe whoever have the aquarius scorpio and sagittarius i think this is you so this is about you when you will come off you will not going to be impressed by this to be honest and this is going to cause this person whoa who is she or who is he because they need to also meet people like you so could be okay another thing i'm picking up here some of you please don't take it um don't be offensive so this person could be very very attractive and you could be not look could be you, you could be just normal person or let's say normal girl or normal guy and when you will be together come off like people definitely gonna be i think your relationship is the, is that type of relationship that will get a lot of hate jealousy envious like a lot of people want to be in your place but a lot of people also uh, be envious and jealous and they just want you to be get out of this relationship and not be together they will also be jealous that how this person is going to treat you going to put you on pedestal but it's not going to happen in the beginning i think this is not somebody like that okay they may be always try to show off people pleasing they always thought that they're going to be with somebody you know they always have their image in some type of partner that they want but universe has a different plan for them god has a different plan for them because before meeting you this person has a different ideal or perception about marriage relationship or friendships and this could be even somebody unconven unconventionally wanting to be just not settle down or not being in a relationship or don't want to share their they, they could even have a taurus placement so i pick up i think this person has a taurus placement a libra they have it but i'm picking up this person is going to be also sagittarius scorpio it could be aquarius like they just want to be non committal player girl or guy or just don't want to settle down but when you will meet each other obviously we're talking about somebody who's definitely going to be head over heels for you and and they're definitely going to make their ways and people will be surprised and shocked to be honest especially uh, the way this person is going to treat you people even definitely going to make fun of your relationship i don't know for some reason i'm picking up here they will feel like you're not fit together you're misfit somehow but you both know that this person will choose you for so many reasons let's see now um anything else that how this journey will begin or what you need to know about this relationship anything else yeah for of sort you're going to see this person maybe uh in your dreams a lot okay i'm also hearing the silence before storm so so yeah you may be going to heal this person heart or the way this person going to connect with you it's definitely going to connect it with the healing but she looks like she's definitely sleeping in the nest so it could be giving me the home vibe or somebody that you can see through this person that who they truly are this could be even somebody who's going to appreciate you that you don't want to be with them because of external things because people want to be with them because of other things and you will be not like that 
and that's why this person wanting to settle down with you because they'll be like no i have to be that person girl or guy i have to be that guy i have to be that girl that this person want to be that they want they're looking for i think this person will have their eyes on you the 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 day you will meet each other or you will come into each other life i don't know aquarius is also is the the rule by technology so you may be going to meet this person online internet or it could be something to do some type of a sudden unexpected um, incidental meeting and once the hangman yeah so this person going to find you like very um, defensive the hangman also could be you need to open yourself to more to this person to the idea of this person to be with this person okay or maybe this is about them they need to change that their idea and perception and it's going to take their time with the hangman they need to see things differently it's look like you will be the reason for this person to change their perception about love and romance you're definitely going to shape this person life they never thought that they're going to fall in love with somebody like you yeah five of swords it is also going to cause a lot of stress and tension and anxiety fear because this person is not used to be like that they really care about their reputation they really care about their image or maybe it's going to affect their image if they will take action or if they will do something so they will think about a lot of things and it's going to cause they're going to take pause they're going to take some type of a delay but it's a transformation it's a big transformation six of pentacles and 10 of wands yeah it could be some of you it's going to in the in the beginning i think it's not going to be easy um uh, to stay connected or it could be even unrequited love for some of you in the beginning um you will feel it's one sided again i told you it's a taurus and pisces could be and we have a libra and virgo too sagittarius also energy here yeah look at the mountains for me it's like a challenging for some of you you will stay and wait for this person uh to change to transform but you will see that there's no progress and this person is giving you nothing but stressing you out and giving you tension and giving you like a lot of anxiety and tension and stress so you will be like okay fine i need to stop giving my energy to this person or this relationship or situation because there's something about your packing your bags and saying goodbye to this person forever because you will maybe change your perception about love and you'll be like no this is not my person this is not somebody who want to change transformed but uh, and it is also not equal give and take you will feel this person is very defensive they're not letting you in they're not showing you their true feelings or emotions they're going to keep it to themselves but you have no idea what's going on in this person internal life <laughs> like their whole life is changed let's see what will happen next then yeah page of wands then there will be good news or sudden meeting unexpected maybe um communication or message the fool yeah i think it's going to happen there's then then this person going to take the leap of faith and they're going to take the risk in this connection and they're going to jump into it again amethyst healing it's about could be aquarius aquarius is very prominent here in this reading in pisces page of wands and the full card oh emperor there you go the daddy could be aries that you connecting with this divine masculine we have the gardener we already have it yeah so there could be age gap two of cups it's a soulmate so yeah that's it's going to happen finally this person eventually is obviously they're going to come off and you're going to see totally different side of this person that you used to see but this could be even somebody when you will meet them they're not like this but before after meeting you or this relationship that's built up you will see that this person completely transformed into a different person from page to emperor you will see this progress in this person Yeah, I think this is about taking the leap of faith, trusting the unknown. For me it's like trusting the unknown with a fool. And this person finally going to send you a message and communication or talk or finally things will will happen naturally. They're going to do it, but eventually there will be some tough and rough cycles or the blockage of equal give and take. This person could be even somebody who is owner of the business or they're doing their own work, so they they don't want to get distracted by other things. they could even have responsibilities of other things that they're working on with the six of pentacles and 10 of wands they could be even leaving or or managing other stuff then with the pluto it's not easy they need to do something then to end something in order to be here with you so they they will come to you when they're totally free i think that's how you will see that this person is totally free now from that situation from that cycle that like they're very clear that they want to be with you
okay so let me see anything else yeah let go of control issue so that could be some some type of a controlling situation here honeymoon phase yeah it's gonna maybe you will meet this person on i'm hearing italy or you will go in italy so could be i don't know there's the some type of a honeymoon phase here yeah this could be the one you already met the romantic partner you seek and we have a codependency and give your relationship a chance yeah so i told you this person is codependent they could be codependent on other people things situations for anything i don't know but they're going to break out of that cycle. They're going to be free. They're going to choose in love. They're going to choose this journey. They're coming for you. Yeah, I think you need to give this person a chance. I'm not saying that this is your ex. This is not an ex. This is somebody that in the beginning things will definitely not easy. It's going to be a bumpy road. It could be even a challenging like a mountain. But obviously you will be on the top. And, and this person will be, will be there for you. Okay, now let's see more. Okay, I also want to know that when it's going to happen because I already did the reading for others. When it's going to happen for you? When it's going to happen for you? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is going to be very slow. Some of you, you don't know them yet. So it's a journey. You're going to meet this person. Again, Taurus Energy, Sagittarius, Two of Cups. Yeah, it's happening in the next two months. And some of you, it's happening. And the Devil. Yeah, there's a blockage here. Yeah, it could be four months. 2024 is the year that you will meet or get married. And maybe next two or four years. Depend on your situation. But it's not going to be easy. This person could be even a workaholic. Something is in the way. This person needs to clear some type of an obstacle. Could be in their ego. Remember I told you, their ego, their pride. And they're going to be also very slow. They could be even a workaholic. They could be working on other things. Or somebody could be trying to control their life. Could be family or I told you, like family, friends or anybody who's interfering trying to control this person, trying to control the situation. Or this person think that this situation is out of their control. So I think they need to take the charge. They need to take the control of this relationship. That it's going to work. But it will happen eventually because this is your soulmate. So this union will happen. This marriage will happen, definitely. A lot of you, it's a marriage. Or you will move in together. Live together with this person. So that's your reading. But we will see some charms. Yeah, the green, it's a, um, it's a heart chakra. Queen of Wands. You could be a fire sign or that could be, that could be them. They're going to be very, very passionate about you. We have a yes, so this person is going to say yes to you maybe. You could be waiting for the answer. Could be cat spirit or cat. We have the heart chakra is opening, green stone. Um, this could be even Korea, South Korea, maybe you or them. This is a positive sign. Yeah, we have the rings. So obviously marriage proposal. We have a crown chakra, a lot of dreams about each other, a lot of synchronicities. Doctor, this person could be a doctor. S, A, South Africa maybe. N, Ran, San, Sand, A, Sana, S, double S. They could even have a double letters in their name. Moon and uh, star, so intuitive connection again, psychic connection, a lot of dreams, a lot of synchronicity, finding the courage and strength to speak up, to take the action, I owe you nothing, yeah, so there could be, yeah, this person could be even have a criminal record or something about a blockage could be coming from the past or they could be work for something, they could be in military, army or po force, like forceful thing, someone's trying to control them, yeah, and we also have the smile, it's about flower. It could be spring season and summer season is important. We also have, I'm working on myself for myself, by myself. So yeah, this person is going to definitely change. And look at their love forever. Mm, confusion. So their, their communication will be the problem. The car could be this person and you will go on some type of a road trip. Things will change. And we also have abundance. It could be even something to do with like this person need to Think positively. They need to tag, take action. They need to do something. This is your reading. I'm going to see you later. Bye. Hello, group number three. Turquoise crystal. You choose a shark. This could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, especially Pisces. Okay, this is somebody who come off like very like dangerous or somebody who could be, you will think that, oh my God, 
they are very cold or they could they could even eat me they could be mad they could be angry they could even come off like very like grumpy personality or somebody who's who's like moody like no but you will see that this is dangerous they may be come off like that they could even have a sharp words or sharp features that's dangerous or you will think that there's something about that you will be afraid or you will think it's not it, this is not my person or this is not going to work but this is how they come off like in front of the world or that's how you're going to perceive them or people perceive them but let's see who this person truly are and you got the two cards so there is definitely something here in this pile we have the dragon and we have the rabbit this is someone who's very spiritual they're very playful once you will get close to them you will know that and i can relate to this energy i i know this type of a people once you get close to this type of a circle or people uh, once you win their trust they are very bubbly they're very loving with a rabbit they're very playful the dragon is also like somebody who could be very protective of their loved ones they even very loved very protective and they this person could be even very spiritual but at the same time very very intuitive and psychic this is a angel this is a spirit um uh, oracle card in this in this deck okay so this is somebody who's definitely intuitive and psychic and they could even they could be a seer so they can see that who they can who they can trust who is a good people and who is not so they can see it this person does not allow anybody to come near them they're not just wear their heart on the sleeve you need to win the trust of this person you need they will see you for some of you the way this person look at it i think this person will have their eyes on you like they will notice you there's something about the eyes popping up can you see that i side eye side eye side eye i one eye so this person will definitely watch you this person will even it will be like you know that the song i have got my eye on you so yeah this person will have their eye on you it's like you will be the prey for them or you they will be like who are you and why you want to get close to them or maybe you will get their attention they could even born into a rabbit here i think this is somebody who's very feminine but they come off like very masculine but inside they're very feminine they're very spiritual they're very intuitive they also have their own inner world but nobody knows that only close one knows that but you need to be very lucky you need to be very like big why i'm saying lucky because this person is very playful they they are very fun to be around they're a good friend they could be even very fertile they will be very very loving to you to the loved one and also to the kids they may be even love kids i'm i'm picking up this person is like a uh, kid by the heart or they will be very kiddish like very childish like very fun funny but cute in the sense but nobody knows that it's, it's just a private this is who they are they could be even very sexual okay i'm picking up i don't know why i'm picking up this person will have their eyes on you and they will have a sex sexual dreams about you like they just want to make you fertile because rabbit is also for me it's like they just want to have a lot of kids with you remember i told you kids yeah so this person either they want a lot of kids or when they will see you and look at you they will be like oh i want that i want a lot of kids with this woman so if you're a woman watching this video and if you're a man here you will see this person and you will be like i want kids i want to have a family i want to give my all you know i just want to be fertile if you're a woman or i want to you know fertile this woman or man whoever you are i don't know but just like fertility is coming in my mind like this person will think about it they just want kids and i'm feeling a lot of kids it's just not i think they will have a definitely sexual feelings for you there's also something about the energy i'm channeling it's random obviously intuitively uh the way this person look at you you will know that this person has a lot of flame in their eyes like passion and desire for you like you will see it with people they're very guarded up they're going to be sharp with you now listen to me because this is about your future spouse with you you're going to see that they they are not like sharp their eyes are totally different they are they are they, the way they look at you it's very it's very cute it's very sweet and also very sexual like they have a lot of passion and desire for you they may be when for some of you I'm picking up they will do stuff with uh, they will do stuff cute stuff or they will do some type of funny stuff to get your attention and it's out of their character by the way it's seen i'm picking up seen so there could be something about um seen like you will send them messages and you'll be like i don't know if this person saw my message or not it's seen 
something about seeing like this person is seeing you they're watching you like something like that let's see um Uranus, we have a revolution. That's how you're going to meet this person, by the way. You're meeting square challenge. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be very challenging because we have a square. It's going to be very complicated. Maybe in the beginning, this person will not understand if this is lust, this is love, this is attraction, or this is something more. Um, but it's also going to be very challenging because this person need to show their true, authentic, and genuine side. And they're going to be very, it's going to be complicated because they're like, they're like shark. So it's like a big fish. <laughs> we have a dragon. They could even born into dragon year of Chinese or rabbit. We have a Uranus. This is going to be unexpected and sudden and shocking even for this person. The, I'm also picking up another thing here. Because of your meeting, this person is not going to express themselves. Like they, don't, they will not understand this square is a challenge. This is their challenge to express themselves, to communicate. But I think they will communicate and try to talk to you, but not directly come to you. And this is going to also create a lot of tension in this person's life. They even watch you like you're not be with somebody else. Like they're going to be, they, they, this person could be even very jealous and possessive. But it's going to be very Uranus, like a revolutionary thing. This is like a breakthrough for them. They will definitely come out of this challenge, whatever they're facing, in order to meet you, to see you, to talk to you, to express to you. It's also going to be Uranus is talk about unexpected and sudden meeting with this person. So you can meet this person with a scare in a challenging phase of time. So let's say when you are going through some type of a challenge and this person, you're going to meet this person. So that's how your first meeting will be. Or they may be going through some type of a challenging time. And maybe they're not going to see this connection as like something serious. But after passing the time, square is going to be challenging. It could be even somebody, you can meet them on picking up physical challenge. So you can see them in a sports like they could be very like challenging. They're going to take the challenges. So it could be in some type of sports ground, sports place, sports festival. I don't know. It could be the place like where is, there is a lot of competition. Maybe at a workplace. This person is going to be there like a... Yeah, watching you. Like what you're doing. Could be your senior or boss. I don't know. It's about originality. One thing is here. This person find you like you're very original. This person could be very humanitarian too. You both could be very humanitarian. You could, you both could even have. It's an earth and water, and this is giving me the air sign vibe. Um, it's Aquarius. So I don't know. This person could have Aquarius in their chart. This is definitely something unexpected. It's gonna be edge. Like this person is. <sighs> Even surprising for this person that they're falling for you or they're doing something out of their, like this person, it's like you're going to challenge them to get out of their comfort zone, to do this, to show their true side. You will also change this person, by the way. Because this person has this image and persona in front of the people and you will force this person, let's say being with you or being in this relationship because that's how you're going to meet. This person need to show their this side. But it's very humanitarian energy, I think. This person could be humanitarian or you both could be humanitarian. I also believe that one of you could be show things very openly, other person does not. And especially your spouse, whoever this is, he or she. They don't, they don't express emotions. It's a big challenge for them. Or they don't show their sensitive side, their weakness, their emotional, sensitive, yin side. They're yang. In front, they may pretend like they're yang, but they're not. In reality, because this is who they are, they're very feminine. They're yin. Sensitive, emotional, right? Humanitarian, all that stuff. And you could be very openly do that, and they're like, oh. So they could be, you're going to challenge this person, though. You will caught this person's eye, to be honest. It could be even innovation. Like, this is something that they never did that, but they're gonna, they want to experience it. You could be even coming out of something like, could be it's like technology. You will meet somehow through technology or working. I'm sorry, this could be even picking me. I'm giving the my vibe of like some type of a like some type of an event or showcase. Could be some type of a innovation things like there is a lot of technology introducing and you're attending that type of event and this person is there too. Or maybe this is your first time meeting will be there or unexpected meeting there or sudden meeting there. It could be when a challenging places where something unexpected and sudden is also Uranus giving me the vibe of accident. So I don't know. You could be meeting them in hospitals or fire brigade, like something the fire. It's like something in emergency. 
it's challenging obviously it's 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 that this is that type of a meeting and this person you will cut this person eye maybe they could become of like some type of surgeon yeah it could be when teachers boss or senior like who's like come off like that but in reality they're not it could be even somebody who's a leader because they have to come show off like they need to be like tough okay they need to be tough but in reality they're very sensitive we have the distorted feminine yeah this person definitely feminine size is distorted i'm just taking it uh, downward because um, reverse because that's how it came up so i think that's the reason we have a sexuality and we also have we have the silver waterfall reverse this person's emotion does not flow they have a distorted feminine side this is what they are hiding and you will trigger the hell out of them you will trigger them like show them this person could even have a sexuality differences okay like they definitely could be very confused about themselves like they 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 thought that they're always being this masculine they they put off this facade like i don't date i don't want to be dating i don't I'm, i'm not interested um in dating i don't want to be in a relationship but you will definitely challenge this person they will be like i want to be with this person with you obviously or vice versa that could be you you will always like oh i don't want to date anybody i want to get married i don't want to be this person going to challenge the hell out of you because this person will come and the storm is will come and you will your inner world is definitely going to be destructive because this person somehow you both are going to trigger and challenge each other to come out who you really are and express yourself communication problem expression problem let's see anything else it's like just flow your emotions and sexuality just feel it just let it go some of you it could be rainbow tribe it could be bi i'm picking up okay another thing is this person could be before meeting you they always thought that they are interested in man but you come up and this person is like oh shoot this person is like why i'm i'm attracted to this girl or or woman so they will explore different side of them and it's going to be causing them a lot of stress to basically accept who they are yeah so some of you it could be something to do with their sexuality their gender their 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 finally they need to accept who they are or embrace who they are vice versa i don't know it could be it does not have to be like they're bi or something they just maybe always thought about like they're never going to fall in love they will always keep working on themselves this is somebody who's like a tough guy or come off like this like i don't want to be with anybody but when you will come it's it's going to be it's like something is totally opposite this person does not know how to express their feminine side or they hide it or vice versa you will also i think there will be a communication problem this is a big challenge for both of you to express to communicate to talk and let your fo- your emotions flow easily could be even self self love energy it's like this person it does not feel like they're worthy of love because that's the shark people definitely see this person always like very dangerous uh the animal you know like somebody who's like very like cut through it if this is going to eat me something like that they may be even their words or could be very very like sharp like very harsh rude you know something like that but in reality this person definitely is very sensitive and romantic and they they maybe want somebody that they can have a family with they can have their own family so that's that's the side of this person your future spouse and maybe that's why you're spiritual and you're going to see it let's see um anything else you know about your story and i don't want yeah they're going to be very defensive king of cups they're going to be very defensive they're going to be protective of their heart their emotions they only keep it to themselves this is also somebody you will think nobody would try to understand them everybody see their surface nobody want to get deep down with them nobody want to see uh who they really are this person definitely have a communication problem and expression and flow of their emotions and feelings this person's feminine is distorted feminine side maybe they never loved anybody or they never feel loved they even have a feminine figure missing in their life like could be their mother nurturing side they never been embraced or accepted who they are nine of wands and king of cups yeah this is somebody who's definitely cancer pisces and scorpio page of cups oh they're going to have a crush on you uh, they're going to like you to be honest they could even born in your pig year of chinese also yeah this is somebody who will have a crush on you or they will come off like they just 
uh, they're going to be also very shy and reserved. Again, this person is going to hide their emotions from you. They don't know how to express it. They're going to become of like very cooled, unavailable, detached. Like um, This is going to be a big challenge for this person, for both of you, I think. This person will keep giving you indirect hint. I look at the eyes. This person will have their eyes on you. Okay, some of you I'm picking up, you will feel like you're not worthy of this person's love. Could be you will feel like that because they, the way they're going to act, you will feel like you're not worthy of this person's love because there is some type of a work needed and patience needed in this connection from both sides. I think you both are somehow triggered and it's very challenging for both of you. It could be the relationship just happened out, out of nowhere, unexpected and sudden, or you came up into this person's life from nowhere. They were not even looking for you and you just came up. So they're going to be patient, I think. Yeah, Queen of Swords. I think this is also your energy. You will be distorted. You will be not, you know, you could be lacking self-worth in yourself or self-love. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you will also be patient. Yeah, it could be water and air. You guys could be water and air sign or fire. Ten of Wands. Yeah, some of you, you could be coming out of some type of unrequited love or one-sided energies. So you don't want to put the effort here. You could become of like very defensive here. And this person will feel like you're not interested in them. It's going to be very challenging. I don't know why. This person will close off for their own reasons. And you will be closed off for your own reasons. I think you both are closed off. You both are afraid to fall in love. You both are afraid to trust and let down your guards. Page of Wands and Queen of Wands, yeah. This person will find you very, very attractive, creative, smart, intelligent. And also like very tired. You could be even come off like very adventurous and open-minded. And they're not like that. They maybe want to experience these things with you. Let's see uh, when it's going to happen. The judgment. Emperor and three. I'm picking up 2024 or three. It's, you maybe already met them in 2023. And th this is the 2024. 20, so maybe this is the year that you're going to celebrate your union or marriage with this person or... Finally, you're going to meet them. Our next two, three, or four years. For some of you, it's two. Some of you, it's three. Some of you, four. But I think some of you already met them in 2023. Okay. Listen, you maybe met them in 2020. Three or four. Our next two, three, or four years. So it's different for different people. But yes. Yeah, there will be a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of attraction. Yeah, I told you, either you need to let someone go or maybe they need to. Yeah, something about X. Deception, reverse, yeah. They need to be clear. Some, a lot of things, misunderstandings should be here. So it should be clear. Things will be clear. Things should be clear. Love yourself first. That's your message, I think. Because you're lacking this self-love. You may be thinking that they're not... You may be even going to compare this person with your ex or past. Or they may be going to compare you. But I don't think so. Their, their blockage is like they need to be clear with you and honest with you. They need to come out of this, this like challenge to express it, to confess it. And have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. And your challenge could be let the past go. And don't compare this person with your past. Okay? Or it could be this is somebody who was like a shark. And when they will come to you, they will be a totally different person. So maybe that's why you need to forgive this person. I'm not saying you need, you need to, but could be for some of you. For some of you, yeah. Maybe if you already met them in 2020 or 3. Let's see more. Yeah, work, work, work. And we have the money. So this person could be workaholic. They choose their money. Look at these two dinosaurs couple. Hug me. I'm trying. Yeah, hug me. And this is saying I'm trying. So you both could be like a competitive. Uh, you both could be very powerful couple or competitive. It's like this person is saying I'm trying. I don't know why I pick up. You're saying to this person like hug me, love me, being with me. And they're like I'm trying. Yeah, so this person going to try. They're going to try for you. Or maybe this is somebody who never, I don't know. This is somebody like they never, they never had this like. 
relationship with anybody like they could be virgin or they could be even somebody like they never had a romantic relationship with a man or woman before you so it's like this is they're going to be like i'm trying or maybe something that they never experienced fully this type of intense passionate love with anybody because in the in the past they used to be in unrequited love or somebody maybe they just hooking yeah look at this just sleeping you know like they, there should be not intense connection right but with you it's this person's heart chakra is going to be open and they're going to be like <laughs> freeze they don't know what to say how to say it they don't know how to feel it even anymore yeah this person is definitely going to come off like very sharp people even going to uh, yeah, I think it's going to come up like, I don't know, something about, I'm, I'm picking up Eric. Yeah, Eric. E, another E. California, maybe. R. V. VCR. Sir. N. South and, ne south and North. Could be East and North. East and South. I'm picking up Sun. Oh. Bitch spray. Oh, so maybe this person access is not going to digest that or maybe yours. We have yeah, heart. This person definitely going to fall in love. They could be workaholic. They used to be in work, 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 work. So they maybe never have experience with opposite gender or they never felt for anybody like romantically. They maybe even have a casual relationship or hookup or something. But this is going to be intense. I'm beautiful, I'm smart, I'm strong. Yeah, this is your affirmation that you need to say to every day. Goals, yeah. This is a goal-oriented person. This is also giving me the vibe of like definitely somebody who has a Taurus Capricorn placements or Virgo. Yeah, earthy energy tree. This is somebody who wants to create a legacy for you, for with you. Could be same soul tribe, like a soulmate. Could be. Yeah, you will create a family together. Could be even business together. I love you. Okay. You hold the key. You're definitely going to unlock this person's heart. You're going to open this person's heart chakra. They need to be more positive, ground ground themselves. You don't own me. We have a B. Yeah, they're definitely going to want to have a future, want to have kids and everything all with you. Yeah, this person definitely going to propose you. Maybe they never fell in love with anybody like this. It's going to be true love. Yeah, cycle. They need to break some type of karmic cycles or pattern. Could be This car is coming in everything. Yeah, citrine or maybe another, it's, a, it's about positivity and I think light, light-hearted energy, like they need to stay positive, they need to, they need to let the bitches go, or, or negativity go, they need to be positive, they need to let someone go, that's holding them, they could be definitely going to be afraid that it's not going to work, or something will come between you and this person, but it's like the key, they're going to find a solution, it's also about unlocking something in this person's life, but they're going to try, you will see that they're trying, so that's your reading. Gonna see you later. Hello, the last group, the final one, the earthworm. If you choose that and you choose this clear card, it's crystal. The earthworm. Is this earth sign? Yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the vibe that's giving me the person of like somebody who's going to be very clingy. Um, they're gonna come off like only when they will be in a relationship. This is also somebody who could be very, very private, very secretive. They are very, very selective to let people in in their life. So if they're choosing you, it's going to be very crystal clear. If they're interested in you, I think this person has a very close friends, like very close circle of friends or people around them. They don't allow anybody. It's like you cannot even, I think this is somebody you cannot even have access to get closed for some reason. They're very private. They're very secret. This is their lifestyle or they are introverted person, very introverted person. Um, but they have whatever their inner world is, it's, go it's going to be very, very colorful. It's going to be very vibrant. It's like they could be even very creative person. People could even misunderstand them. Like they're not just, they're going to be like, oh, this is an ordinary person. This is like just a usual normal person. But no, they're very creative. This person mind works extraordinary. They have a very beautiful ideas very crystal clear ideas are very crystal clear about who they want to be with and who they, who, they, who they they want. So if they are trying to be with you, trying to give you their time, energy, efforts, you are the one. You are that lucky person, period. It's, it's going to be very clear. So they're our sign, I think. 
this is who they are in the real world you will see that this person does not have that much friends or they're not close they're very open uh, they're not expressive they're very introverted they could be very communicate not ex expressive they even don't want to talk about their private life like let's say dating relationships family friends no this person not going to talk about that to anybody you will see that you will never find them talking about these things about anyone to anyone they're very private and secretive i think it's also giving me the vibe like this person could be even have a if they have a social accounts it's going to be very private it's only few people it's there that's it this person is very selective they're very picky okay let's see who they are in real life that's how you're going to see them are oh my god <laughs> we have a spider it's definitely our sign is it earth i don't know because that's a water you know yeah it is our sign i think spider it's giving me a spider man vibe this person could even have a natural powers yeah they definitely very naturally organically originally creative uh, they have a great ideas it's like this person mind is always working they could even have a big network they are networking with different type of people right but rea in reality they are not that much expressive this person also very talkative with their only those uh, you know the people that they choose they're going to be very vibrant different talkative they're going to share their ideas to those people that they are with this person's mind is always working again this is somebody who does not allow anybody they're very picky this person could be even a mess because that's who they are in reality right you know they're not showing but you will know that they're going to be mess this person's thoughts is all over the place they could be even doing multitasking they're definitely always busy networking they they may even don't have a time for rest you know for themselves also you will see them that they could overthink a lot or they could be sabotager like they sabotage things obviously it's a overthinking who do overthinker who do that so this could be somebody's own overthinker and self self sabotager also i'm picking up like they are very creative and they could have a lot of ideas but they don't know how to express it how to do it and how to act on it or maybe they're going to take their time like this is someone who's stuck in their own head let's see how and when you will meet them like how your meeting will be taurus yeah earthy energy i told you ascendant so this person could be a taurus as ascendant but it's also giving me the uh, libra ascendant and could be when a capricorn we have ascendant i told you this person has some type of a presence with this ascendant like they could be well known they could have a name they could have even have a fame people know them or wherever they go they just stand out ascendant mean could be and especially with the with their beauty with the taurus it's about their beauty they stand out the way they dress is stand out the way their body is is stand out they really attract a lot of people i think this person could be come off like very introverted in front of the world like they're not ex expressive or something but in reality who they are they really want to talk to a lot of people they want to have a connection with a different type of people with the world so they like this attention obviously they want to get close with a lot of people and could be they are very close to a lot of people but not that much close like this person they maybe even take the time okay they could be even clingy okay in relationship especially this person like finer things in the life luxurious lifestyle or they like luxury they smell like a luxury too i think when you will see them or the way you're going to meet them or interact with them or let's say it's a first meeting or first impression i don't know but this is how you will see them you you will see this person smell like luxury and they live in luxury they stand out the way they dress the way they smell the way they are their beauty also their beauty is totally different there's no way that you will turn around i think this person really turn heads a lot wherever they go if this is a woman she could come off like very beautiful in the dressing or the makeup um skin okay even could be um this is somebody who could be a role model for many 
uh, inspiration for many. They could be even entertainment, fashion, I don't know. Uh, this is also somebody who's going to be, they maybe even have a good voice when they speak up, everybody listen, everybody get, you know, like, whoa. They could even have a sexy voice. Now, some of you with a Taurus and Ascendant, this person could be a singer. Could be a singer or somehow uh, could be a news into journalism because this is somebody who speak. But they beautifully speak or their voice is very seductive. But at the same time, they're just not beautiful. Uh, they're wise. They also themselves is like very beautiful. Their attitude is like good. With a body image, this person really care about their image, their body image, their dressing style, the way they look, they're going to talk. It's going to be definitely a lot, affect a lot of people. So that's why they could be very reserved. They don't speak up that much because their words, their style can affect a lot of people. They could be even a fashion icon, I'm picking up, some of you. Role model for something. This person also have a very good aura. Like wherever they go, it's a very vibrant, colorful, positive aura. This person could li like flowers. It's a very fertile person. So they could be even man or woman. I don't, I don't know, but they're very fertile. Like they could even attract anybody, anybody to be honest. They could be even very loyal and patient with the Taurus energy. The bombshell, I think this is somebody who's, wherever they go, they, they drop the bombs. This is a walking bomb person. Like girl or guy, it's giving me the vibe of, even though, if, I think she's a Taurus, right? You know, Gigi Hadid, you know, she's a model, right? So she's definitely giving me the vibe of like that. Like she's a top model, right? So something like that, it's giving me the vibe of that. But could be like, th this is somebody like if they're a model, so they, their definitely is like on a top, uh, in a high demand, high demand, obviously. And this is like also somebody who believe in first impression. So wherever they go, they definitely give a good first impression. Like even though it's, it's, it's like a different place, they're just uh, attending some type of an event, a place, people definitely notice them. This is something, something that type of a beauty um, or, or their aura, their image, their body. They could have a very beautiful body, man or woman. Definitely it's like this is someone who's into aesthetics, like they could be even come off like very sensual, very pleasing to the eye. Um, but they're very beautiful. I don't know who you are getting. So that's why they could be reserved, man or woman. But we have a compatibility, worthiness and intimacy. Yeah, so some of you, you're definitely going to get triggered. If you have a self-worth issues, this type of a woman or man is definitely, you're going to be like, I don't know if I can be with them or not. But you will be very compatible with this person. Look at this. Okay, another thing I'm picking up, if this is a guy, if this is a guy, your future spouse, you're looking for a guy or man, this is somebody you can see that they definitely want to see you higher, fly higher, reach your goals higher. Like they're not going to be feeling, um, you know, like inferior if you are on a top, on a high, and, and you're reaching your goals. They're always going to be with you. This is somebody who's always going to support you in your dreams. They're going to be even feel very uh, honor and pleasurable that that you are reaching to the level of success and you are if 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 this is you you could become off like very beautiful and attractive they're not going to feel like any type of a complex or something they're going to definitely come off like very respectable and very very supportive of you it's like you're compatible with each other some of you you guys could be very power couple you could whenever you wherever you will go you both are going to get a lot of attention i don't know for some reason i'm picking up here but this person get a lot of attention with ascendant hair they are well-known person so they could become off like very attractive charming good looking handsome man or woman and this person never going to make you feel like you're not worthy of them if you have your own self-worth issues please i'm telling you you're gonna you can hurt this person. This is somebody who's definitely not going to see you in this way. But there could be energy here that people are going to judge you for this. Are they not going to accept it? Maybe they're going to be like, oh, how can be you two together? It's not possible. You don't look good together or something. But I don't think so. This is somebody who's definitely going to be... Look at this. You, you both are going to be all in your love, emotions and feelings. I'm seeing a lot of candles here. So it could be candlelight dinners. You're going to manifest this person. There's also a lot of flowers. You're going to also... I don't know. You guys could be going to do... I'm going to take a bubble bath, candle bath, flowers bath. I don't know. It's going to be very romantic for both of you. This person all into you. 
you're not going to believe that this type of a person is all about you like they they're very very attractive and charming and they can very even good looking they can have anybody but they're definitely going to be with you because they're going to feel very comfortable with you they're also going to feel compatible with you they're going to think like that you both are compatible somehow but if you have a worthiness issue i'm telling you you're not going to feel loved by this person or appreciated by this person this person going to love you so much now some of you i told you if this person could be a model let's say model actor or singer or something anybody who is definitely doing something or stand out like a popular guy or girl in the group or something or they may be doing something on social media or internet or they're networking of something or they may be always like a businessman or woman so they have always have to go they need to take care of themselves they could be working with a brand they could be the face of a brand i don't know and you if you're not worthy of it you're going to think because i'm picking up this is the why they're giving me like this person could be do intimate shoots you know uh, intimate um, yeah shoot could be <laughs> there's something about shooting here uh, pictures or they need, they need to do it if you're not going to feel worthy of it obviously you're going to feel like yeah there's something about you're going to feel like this is somebody um, why they will choose you why they will be with you but you need to see that you're beautiful in your own way and this person going to choose you they're going to see the beauty in you they want to be with you this is somebody who's also going to be very very comfortable i'm also feeling you're going to do wear the same clothing like it's going to be very cute you're going to wear the same type of clothes matching accessories like something you guys are doing something a lot of fun together but this it's, it's even though it's a intimacy be with you like you will this person will spend the time with you but this person could also do something professionally that they they need to work with other opposites uh, gender like let's say if they're a man they need to work with a woman and if they're a woman they need to work with a man because of their work and profession you need to understand that yeah i think that could be intimate shoot or some things that can trigger you but it's about you or there is a lot of people around this person that's very attractive and charming if when when they're not working or doing you need to always believe and trust this person because i think there there's something about this person is like they're very they're going to be loyal with you with this source energy coming you need to believe that you need to trust that this person is going to be loyal with you i also believe that wherever this person will go either people will talk about you ask uh, you know like ask about you or you when you will be go, going there together definitely it's going to be you going to attract a lot of people attention as a couple let's see anything else that you need to know how it's going to start yeah could be collaboration you both could be a content creator it's a collaboration it's a collaboration that you're going to do it yeah queen of pentacles something to the business so you could be also a earth sign yeah there's something but black and white so you could be opposite from each other black and white are coming from a different place could be yeah yeah seven of swords and six of pentacles yeah it's it's something to do with the work here this person is doing their business they're earning money but you're going to think like they're sneaking around or they're not being honest with you are you going to doubt that are you going to overthink that and if you are in a public eye or something you do something on social media or you could be attractive and they're not they could be black or they could be very like something they could even have a self worth issues because remember i told you this person overthink and sabotage things a lot they could be even come off like very clingy and possessive remember i told you with the taurus yeah this person could be they could think like they can get even jealous too if you are doing the photo shoots or if you are doing some type of a things here or networking or working with other people another thing i'm picking up here you both could be also opposite like this person is definitely introverted and you could be extroverted that could be the energy too but you you are very compatible i think this is somebody yeah you're definitely going to work with each other the fool it's like this person is going to jump into it they're going to take the risk they're going to take the leap of faith they even going to it's like a fresh start yeah the moon card okay some of you this person is going to be sneaky in the beginning or your journey will begin when it's going to be this person may be will afraid that you're going to judge them or you're not going to be understand their their profession so they could be afraid of that or in the beginning this person are going to understand it so there could be some misunderstanding in the beginning 
or that's how this relationship is going to build. I also believe that this is going to be started as a collaboration, like you both are going to work together. But this person definitely have hidden feelings, like they, they're going to develop the feelings, but they will also get possessive. Or maybe they have in the beginning a lot of options. So they will be afraid who, should, who to pick the sun card, Leo, moon and sun. Yeah, you will be opposite. Moon and sun, yeah, it's a yin and yang energy, feminine and masculine, soulmate, divine counterpart. Yeah, we have a four of wands and the lovers. It could be twin flame or soulmate. Yeah, black and white, I told you. So there's something about either this person will be, yeah, it's also dark and light. So it could be, there's something about your energies or you come off like some of different perspective or relationships or it's like your aura. It's something about your aura. So you could attract a lot of people if you're feminine watching this video and this person definitely get, can get possessive or they maybe think you have a lot of people. Um, they can be even get sneaky or possessive, I'm telling you. They come off, can, they can even come off like very controlling. But the love is very strong between you and this person. It's going to be the love of your life. Even if this is somebody you love, this person, you're going to get possessive. You should not be. That's, a, that's advice. Because this person is going to loyal and only committed to you and they're going to love only you with lovers and four of wands because wherever they're doing whatever they're doing it's network it's their work it's a profession or maybe your there's something about you both need to understand especially you if you are the possessive person or something okay some of you are, that's what i'm hearing if you are the introverted person and you stay at home and this person is out there and doing some work you're definitely not gonna you you can overthink too much too or this person gonna overthink that or you both could be from the same field uh, like creative field so you can get clingy and possessive to each other also. Yeah, for some of you, I'm picking up here. But this is definitely going to be a lot of love between you and this person. Okay, let's see when this marriage is going to happen. Because I asked for every pile. Let's see when it's going to happen. Three of swords, seven of wands, and the strength. Yeah, some of you, it's, it's like because of you. You could be still recovering from the heartbreak or this person. When you will let down your guards, when you will allow your heart to again fall in love. Eight of Pentacles, nine. Could be within eight months or nine months. Some of you, it's going to happen in the next, I would say, three months, three years. It could take even more years too, because look at this. You're waiting for a new love, or you're waiting for some type of a new beginning in love. Yeah, so it could be. Chemistry, I told you. This could be the one. You already met them. Pay attention to the red flag. Yeah, some of you, I think, even though you met them, you, you're going to see the red flag. But it's, it's written. You will get married to this person. Yeah, I think, I told you, there should be a trust here. This, this situation definitely involved trust here. Between, for both of you. You need to trust that. And they also want you to trust them. But maybe you also want them to trust you. Something like that. Now let's see more. And the charms. I mean, come on. You are the Ten of Cups. I told you, this is the love of your life. You're going to make each other so happy. Maybe that's why it's going to be a lot of possession. Yeah, gem. You're going to feel like you find the gem. They're going to feel like they find the gem. They're going to feel like you're, you're very cute. You're very beautiful. So maybe this person is going to be, you know, come off like very possessive, clingy, and controlling. You could be Muslim watching this video. Yeah, there will be a lot of fun. You will have a lot of fun with this person. Forbidden love or love is not allowed. Or maybe you're not going to, you think, oh, this is not possible with this person. And this type of a person, maybe in the beginning, you will find it very tough and difficult. Or maybe they feel it. It could be because one of you could be Muslim or one of you could be, it's like out of culture or religion. It's not possible. We have G. Yeah, look at this, GG. I told you like something about GG. So that could be a sign. Nigeria, 
గుడ్ నైట్ నెదర్లాండ్ న్యూజిలాండ్ జే జనవరి జెన్ బెస్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్ ఫర్ ఎవర్ ఓకే సో సమ్ ఆఫ్ యూ దిస్ కుడ్ బీ దట్ పర్సన్ యువర్ ఫ్రెండ్ బెస్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్ విల్ ఫాల్ ఇన్ లవ్ విత్ యూ అండ్ యూ విల్ బి లైక్ నో ఇట్స్ నాట్ పాసిబుల్ ఆర్ యూ విల్ బీ ఈచ్ అదర్ బెస్ట్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ యా క్యాట్ స్పిరిట్ ఇంట్యూషన్స్ కుడ్ బి విచ్ క్రాఫ్ట్ ఆల్సో సమ్ ఆఫ్ యూ యూ కుడ్ ఈవెన్ అవర్ క్యాట్ ఐ దిస్ పర్సన్ రియలీ గోన్ ఫైండ్ యూ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్ అండ్ అట్రాక్టివ్ యా దేర్ ఇస్ అ లాట్ ఆఫ్ కరేజ్ అండ్ స్ట్రెంగ్త్ నీడెడ్ హియర్ అండ్ బ్రేవ్ అండ్ ఇస్ ఇస్ ఆల్సో ఇట్స్ టాక్ అబౌట్ ఫస్ట్ రూట్ చక్రా అబౌట్ సెక్యూరిటీ అండ్ ట్రస్ట్ యా ఇట్ కుడ్ బి ఇట్స్ గోన్ బి ఓల్డ్ లవ్ అండ్ సంథింగ్ టు డూ విత్ బ్యూటీ స్టాండర్ దిస్ ఇస్ అ పాజిటివ్ సైన్ దిస్ పర్సన్ డెఫినెట్లీ గోన్ అప్రిషియేట్ యూ అ లాట్ యా ఇట్స్ అ పిన్ కీ ప్రామిస్ బిట్వీన్ యూ అండ్ దిస్ పర్సన్ లాట్ ఆఫ్ లవ్ ఇట్ కుడ్ బి స్టార్ట్ ఎస్ అ ఫ్రెండ్షిప్ టు లవ్ or you, this is somebody who's your friend is going to fall in love we also have this so it could be this is aries somebody who's definitely going to be like a hot headed also could be stuck and stubborn in their own way they're going to propose you though i'm also feeling this person is going to give you a big ass uh, diamond ring yeah we have a south korea and we also have a t tiger tie down we also have a love you the lock and yeah this person could be even afraid that why they're doing this all for you why they're bearing this all for you but with this also energy like this person can come off like very aggressive passionate and impulsive and fast like just want to things in their own way so you cannot ignore the red flag there should be a clear communication and trust needed here in this connection and make the promise and loyalty it's really important for both of you So this is your reading I'm going to see you later bye god bless you all